So Martine, thank you for being with us today so much. Um, the work that ICMPD does is extremely important, especially with regard to dialogues around the world, and I think you are so well placed to really understand the different political processes that are going on um, within Europe and the neighborhood right now. So I'd like to get your perspectives on the current political situation with regard to migration, which of course is a difficult mm -hmm. one, and you've had quite a difficult job in the last year or two. Yeah, well, it's the political situation at the moment in Europe is one of wide diversion. You see the people, let's say, really understanding migration and looking at migration carefully, drifting away within the countries of the people who are actually setting the policies. You see mm -hmm. people reacting very often to media needs for quick statements, for symbol politics. Um, politicians on all countries, so not only Europe, but also if you look in Africa, but also in the East, etc., seem to have picked migration as the topic um, for sending sharp, short messages. Mm -hmm. um, whereas migration from its own nature is something which needs a long-term approach. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't match. And you see that then also reflected in the dialogues between countries. You uh -huh. see, you know, you have to take back your people. And if you don't do it, you get less development aid. That's a very nice, quick message to send mm -hmm. if you want to be the tough guy. And uh, it's also on the side of, let's say, the country of origin, mm -hmm. very easy to reject. Yeah. Because, you know, I stood up against them. You know, we will not be forced mm -hmm. to do this. So it yeah. also, and I think this approach between countries, that I think that's the, that's the negative aspect at yeah. the moment. Um, on the more positive side, I think that while there has of course always been since 100 years this whole linkage between migration development, um, but since the, the more structural dialogues within the GFMD uh, and the run-up to the uh, SDGs, you see that there is also like another movement mm -hmm. which likes to look more at the more positive aspects of migration and, and that you see also this momentum where there is like a more mature discussion on migration taking place. It's, yeah. it's difficult to make them meet though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you think Europe should be doing differently? Because we well, you know there are a lot of things that at least as migration researchers, as you know, migration specialists, things that we um, think are not going well now, but mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you see as some concrete things that, that Europe could be doing differently? Well, I think they should start, first of all, trying to get out of the, the hole that they've dug for themselves of, of negative messaging about migration. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, there's a lot of oh, information campaign about migration and we always think about outside of Europe. I think we should change the narrative within Europe. Um, and then we should also rethink and take an honest look at, at how we approach mobility, migration, refugee protection as a continent and to say, okay, yeah, there is some difficult answers. You have a demographic decline, you have uh, economic developments, you have the emerging of a continent, Africa, with, which will double its population in a short mm -hmm. period of time. How can you work with those countries and, and take a more honest look? And, mm -hmm. and maybe, you know, well, we will never be able to change a political system which thinks not in four-year circles, but 24-hour circles. Mm -hmm. um, but there has to be a, a honest parallel look at how do we stand up for our principles on defending human rights? How are we going? To, we are throwing away some of our, you know, the basics on which Europe has been built upon. Some core values. Uh, core values are being, well, ignored mm -hmm. uh, out of interest for short-term political interest because we have to save Europe from the populism. Well, mm -hmm. let's maybe change and come to a different kind of, if you want, populist narrative, which mm -hmm. takes a more positive approach, a more realistic approach. Um, again, this is all idealistic words, uh, but at the same time, we see that we have made, and we knew would, that this would happen, we are, we are, uh, that we've made ourselves, uh, we, we, we are being blackmailed in some cases yeah. because of the way we have positioned ourselves. So if, Europe made itself vulnerable. We made ourselves vulnerable. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and if, we, if we would have let, looked at the lessons learned from, from the Italy-Libya deal with yeah. Gaddafi, mm -hmm. we knew that this would happen. And, and we will see the same thing now happening again. There's now individual countries who claim, like, but you know, there's a Turkey deal, but you know, then 
you know, but Egypt also has a lot of people who might move uh, mm -hmm. or might move through, and and you have more of these things. And I think this is, um, it's it's understandable from many sides that this game is being played like this mm -hmm. because we blew it up to this proportion. Um, we picked this topic as the topic to yeah. deal with, and um, like it's very simple to send messages like you know close the borders or refugees welcome. It's where both of the messages are very simple and direct. Yeah. Um, we have to be more realistic in this regard, and and be and take an approach which um, takes into account the the complexities. And you know, we we say always migration is about people, and then we don't mean necessarily only the migrants. Mm -hmm. We also mean the people in the host countries. How can you address all these concerns? How can you delink this anti-Islam terrorist migration narrative? Uh, mm -hmm. And come to a narrative which looks at the whole complexity of migration, and, and not only say migration equals refugee equals this, and say yeah. you know, <laughs> even in the crisis year, mm -hmm. which is a migration policy crisis, um, there were more migrants coming for family reunifications, business, labor, mm -hmm. etc. Than there came uh, via the Western Balkans. Mm -hmm. So and and but that's like, you know. They contribute positively. Yeah. Why is it so difficult to to take that approach and, and acknowledge this? Mm -hmm. And do you think that Europe should be working in a different way? Do you think that they should be more unified, um, or do you think that you know the approach is to take kind of unilateral decisions on things? Well, I, I'm not maybe a federalist, but I'm close to that, <laughs> to closer European cooperation, especially yeah. in the area of migration. And um, and that that's been I've been my whole approach from the, from, from from my from my studies from my master paper has been on that. Yeah. And and so I believe strongly in the, in a more common approach. And mm -hmm. while of course there is a a certain Eurosceptical um, uh, development, mm -hmm. the majority of people still vote for pro-European parties. Yes. And and also in Europe, I mean the Eurosceptical parties, you know, won maybe 15, 18 percent, and you can say, well, David Day also stole some 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 topics of them. But in the end, the vast majority is, is not so negative. Mm -hmm. um, we have to make it better understandable. Mm -hmm. But especially migration and migration management uh, should be done on a more common um, based on more common approaches. Which is difficult because yeah. the major part of migration, uh, it, you know, most of the people, most of the migrants, either come to work or will at some point end up in the labor market. Exactly. And labor market policies are not uh, regulated on any kind of European level. So, mm -hmm. which makes it difficult to, to. I'm not claiming we should now regulate labor market at the European level, but it should somehow, the certain principles and access to the labor market should be further harmonized. and further looks at. Yeah. Well, it looks like you have your work cut out for you, <laughs> but I know you'll be um, continuing with the good work around the world. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you.